Backstage. Backstage. ASM interviews with your favorite stars. Take four very experienced artists, one of them the incomparable David Bowie, put them together not just as performers, but as friends, and you come up with a new formula for music. They call themselves Tin Machine. What we have is like sort of a men's club. And we talk about everything. We don't just talk about music. We, we are involved in each other's lives. I and mean, we enjoy being together and working together as well. You know? Yes, yeah, a lot of things we can work out outside of the music, just like being, by being together. There's a lot of stuff because we're all of a certain age group. We've all been through a lot of very similar experiences. We've all been through drugs, all been through divorces, all got kids. There's a lot of connections there. We've all known a lot of deaths through drugs and whatever. Um, a lot of our friends are dead. When we, we counted up a few weeks ago, and it's alarming how many people just ain't around anymore, you know? So all that stuff goes into, and we, we can get to at least maybe not sort anything out, but you can, you can you know, open up uh, a lot of things that you felt you had to keep closed before. That's, that's a certain intimacy with this band, which you very rarely get with bands. It's funny, that's, I mean, with these four guys, that's how we work, though. I mean, we go in the studio, and everybody brings in something, and we'll throw it out, and everybody grabs it and starts... A lot of that happens happen. because when we're not working as a band, everybody has their own uh, fairly intense individual lives. I mean, we've all got very firmly established relationships. These three guys are all married with families. And uh, I'm not, but I've, I've got a firm relationship. And that takes us away from each other as a band unit. Uh, we all work on separate projects. Tony does acting. Uh, I've got my own things that I do. Reeves does soundtracks, and Huntster uh, does uh, blues record production down in uh, Texas. A lot. It's a guy of Texas, thing. Um, I saw cars. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and during the time that we're not with each other, everything that we experience, the stuff that we go through when we're not together, when we do get together, that goes into the pot. You know, all those separate experiences. And I think it's essential with most bands that they shouldn't become that incestuous that they start. Thinking Thinking the same way, and we have a lot of arguments. We do, we genuinely do. The group met for the first time over ten years ago. We met David um, years ago at this nightclub called Fifi's Leather Bar, <laughs> um, and uh, David said uh, that he had this guitar player, and he said he's really happening. We should get together and have a jam, or you know, let's see what happens. And we hadn't seen David for quite a while mm -hmm. um, so we got together and there was no thought of well, we're gonna do a band we're gonna do a record we're gonna have a tour the name of the band's gonna none of that it just kind of fell together the whole band name thing was like really a problem you know? we just didn't know what to call this is and we weren't particularly interested so we kind of just settled on one of the tracks on the album and it'll do you know, the covers do I and mean, it's just packaging the essence of this band has always been how far it can stretch, you know, with uh, modern music. Tin Machine loves to play live, and their freeform style makes concerts almost reminiscent of a garage jam session. It's forever changing what we do on stage. I mean, tonight we just tried something that was really kind of dodgy. We just took the show that we did the night before last and just started at the end of the set list and worked our way to the beginning. So you saw the show backwards tonight. Uh -huh. um, and we tend to do that within songs as well, songs within themselves. We sort of just, it'll, and we never know where it's going, mainly because of Hunt influence. It's that essence, that essence where somebody comes up with uh, an exciting thing and everybody jumps on that and tries to expand on what that last person's played and take that somewhere, then somebody else throws another sentence in. It's like a, it's like a conversation. And you never know in the beginning of the evening when you're with a bunch of guys or, or, or a bunch of women where the end of the conversation is going to go. I mean, you, you've kind of got a starting base, and then you have no idea. There's no, you don't know what the conclusion of the conversation is going to be a couple of hours later. And the music for us kind of works like that. It works at a conversational basis. It's just like the approach in the studio. And some are great conversations, and sometimes it's a real boring conversation. I mean, there's real highs and real lows with this band, which is terrific. At least you'll never get mediocrity. With Tin Machine in Ludwigshafen, I'm specialist Leonard Buchanan backstage. 